to know the motor channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. During last year's ICMA Motorcycle Show in Milan, the 2018 BMW HP4 race debuted a super exclusive, non-street legal, full carbon framed wheel superbike based on the BMW S1000 RR. The 2018 BMW HP4 rivaled the street legal Ducati 1299 Super Legera in exclusivity, horsepower, and lightness. Due to its limited production numbers, and $78,000, MSRP, price tag, rides aboard this Bavarian missile were going to be limited. Fast forward to nearly a year after its announcement, and I headed to Circuit of the Americas in Texas to derive one of 750 horsepower for race motorcycles on the planet. The exclusive ride was held during the Double R Festival run by official BMW test rider and ambassador May Kern, the event that allowed us to ride the bike back to back with one of my all-time favorite track bikes the S1000RR. With that said, here are the essential fast facts you need to know about the 2018 BMW HP4 race. During the event, I also interviewed Joseph Matchler, BMW HP4 product manager, who is known as Simply Sap. Stay tuned for some video of our interview, along with some footage from the track. 1. The 2018 BMW HP4 race gets slim to 377 pounds but due to three chassis elements that are entirely constructed of carbon fiber the frame, 17.1 pounds, the self-supporting rear frame and the wheels. This is immediately noticed when you sit on the HP4 race, and the lightness feels greater when you release the throttle. Awareness for the lightness slapped me quickly while tipping her into any one of 20 corners on the 3.4 mile Formula 1 circuit. This made the already super agile S1000 RR feel, dare we say, doggish. Also, the carbon fiber frame seemed to flex a bit more than the S1000 RR, which provided more feeling while mid-corner, allowing you to read the tarmac easier and judge traction from the Pirelli Superbike SC2 slicks. 2. Though the HP4 race's lightweight is apparent in handling, the carbon fiber wheels, which are 30% lighter than light alloy forged wheels, have a tremendous effect on braking. There's less rotating mass up front, which allows for much quicker braking. Fortunately, the feel at the lever end of the Brembo GP4RR monoblock caliper squeezing 320mm calipers wasn't harsh. Initial pull is light, and you can easily moderate pressure for trail braking or slowing from triple digit speeds into tight corners. There's no speedometer, but the speeds reached at the back of Coda's three quarters mile straight, which were surely faster than the 180 plus reached on the S1000RR, were quickly slowed for the slow turn 12. 3. The HP4 race arrives with the race ready 1000cc in mind for that is derived from BMW efforts in the FIM Endurance World Championship and World SBKS 1000RRs. The engine produces 215 horsepower at 13,900 RPMs, and 88.5 feet per pound of torque at 10,000 RPMs, and only a true pro can capitalize on the upper end of this much power. When dumped what onto Coda's front or rear straight, the HP4 race never gave up on offering power. Also, when in any of the two drive modes, wheelie control is not active and gears 4 through 6. This was apparent while flogging her in 5th and floating the front wheel along at well over 150 mph. That serious power the most I've ever felt on a motorcycle. 4. But there's one snag for that much power. The engine only has a life of 5,000 km until it needs to be replaced for 17,000 euro, about $20,000 USD. That racks up to about 3,000 track miles. But again, $20K for an engine on an $80K track bike should not be an issue for this type of bike. 5. The suspension features online the best Owen suspension components and FGR 304 and TTF 36 GP shop which are identical to the components used in World SBK Championship. I rode BMW's Nakern's personal HP4 race with GP shift, so I didn't mess with any settings. If I had had the opportunity, the suspension features color-coded adjustment knobs for compression and rebound. The fork also features a click setting function for the spring preload. These Olins provided optimal feeling at Coda, 
whether offloading the fork and compressing the shock on hard acceleration, or offloading the rear shock and compressing the fork during hard braking.